How's it going everybody? My name is Warner Fields with Fields of Profit. I'm a mid six figure full time Amazon seller. And in this video, I'm going to be walking you through exactly all the Chrome extensions that I use for my personal Amazon business. Um, not all these tools are going to be essential. I'm going to be talking about which ones I'd recommend getting right at the start because uh, some of them are paid uh, and will unlock some new potential for you, but aren't necessary right at the start. So I'll go ahead and walk through exactly all the free ones that I use that you should definitely go ahead and get today. Um, and then exactly when you'd need to be able to implement a couple of these paid extensions. If you haven't already checked it out, I do have a free Amazon seller discord that's gonna be linked down below there's over 12,000 people in there sharing all kinds of great free information I'd love to see you in there uh, without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the video So I went ahead and opened up just a random product page here. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to be showing off exactly what all the Chrome extensions that I personally use do. Um, so I'll just go ahead and start from this bar over here on the right. Um, I'll go ahead and move myself for this, I guess. Um, and then so right here, the first Chrome extension that I like to use, this is a paid Chrome extension. Uh, there's there's, there's going to be links down below for everything. Uh, typically, I'm able to get you guys some coupons and stuff. So keep an eye out for that uh, down below. Uh, but this first extension that I use is called ASIN Gadget. Um, it's super handy. It's super cheap. It's like 35 bucks for a lifetime membership. No, no subscriptions or anything like that. Um, it shows you if you're restricted. It shows you if it's hazmat. It shows, shows you if it's multiple. Super simple tool, but it's very helpful when you're looking at tons of products all day. Um, this restricted bar is especially helpful to, um, you know, sync up with your Amazon account um, and then at a glance, instead of having to check and pretend like you're going to sell the item to see if you can actually sell it, you can just embed this extension right on the page and it'll show you if it's if it's restricted. Uh, it's a nice little time saver there. It's super worth the the small fee for it um, and then you got hazmat and multiple um, I'd recommend going ahead and checking out this Chrome extension after honestly after you make your first couple sales um, that 35 bucks uh, once you've proven to yourself that you're you know you're ready to sell on Amazon you're, you're getting a couple sales like this is gonna save you time for the long run so it makes sense to invest in a cheap tool like this right at the beginning um, I'm gonna go ahead and skip down here to Keepa. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this if you're already selling on Amazon um, this is the number one most essential tool for your business uh, technically it is a Chrome extension in here um, and what it does if you're brand new it is it essentially embeds a ton of data about a product on the actual Amazon page so in this case I'm looking at the the buy box line to see what the items actually selling for I'm looking at this green line the sales rank line to see how fast things are selling uh, you can see you can see the uh, the supply over time to kind of help you gauge maybe if the prices are gonna go up and down tons of advanced strategies you can get into using Kiba not to mention all these other tabs that have all kinds of other great features um, if you're not familiar with Keepa, you want a more deep dive into Keepa, there's going to be a video up in the, the top corner or on that side um, if you want to go check that out. Um, but Keepa is a must. Uh, I recommend Keepa uh, like right when you first start. It's going to help you make much more informed decisions. For example, here's why Keepa would be super important. Uh, if you looked at this listing right now without Keepa, you would see that the price is 25 bucks, but you wouldn't know that for the last several weeks, it's only been 20 bucks. It's gone as low as 19 bucks. Um, so if you make a sourcing decision thinking that this is going to sell for 25 bucks every time, uh, then you might be sorely disappointed when you, uh, you know, get it into the warehouse a week from now, it's back down to 20 bucks and you're not making profit anymore um, so that's why Keepa is super important for your business um, the next extension I want to talk about um, is a is a free extension I'll go ahead and run through a couple of my favorite free extensions here uh, this one is just called FBA calculator it's from I think it's from seller app uh, they have you know they have paid tools and stuff but this is what I've been using for my fee calculator forever um, you just you know you tap the button up here punch in the price so right now it's selling for 25 bucks and then you can kind of judge your profitability you can do this with FBM as well uh, so let's say we wanted a merchant fulfill this let's say we're buying this for you know let's say we're just buying it for 10 bucks for the sake of the example uh, but we know it's gonna cost us eight bucks to ship it you can plug all that in uh, it's gonna you know run those calculations for you uh, it's super important uh, to make sure you're running everything through a fee calculator I'm sure you know the value of that but just having a free nice little fee calculator here on the page is always nice to have um, a lot of people use rev seller for this but rev seller is a paid extension uh, so you know this pretty much does the same thing um, I don't see the point in investing in rev seller when this free extension exists um, so I personally don't use rev seller or anything like that uh, I just use the the free version there uh, the next extension I want to go ahead and talk about here is IP alert 
Um, this one is super, super important. I would recommend getting this again, um, an, this one right after you get your first couple sales, probably maybe do a thousand to two thousand dollars in sales and then go ahead and get IP alert because it's going to help safeguard your account from getting IP complaints. Um, it's much easier to just avoid IP complaints. It is a big issue within online arbitrage, uh, but it's way, way easier to just avoid those complaints in the first place with a tool like IP alert. Uh, so you can see on this great value listing, there's just this little green check mark here. Uh, this essentially just means that we are okay to sell this no one in the past who also uses IP alert has complained about great value um, it is just a database so it's not guaranteed but there's several hundred if not a thousand plus brands in their database um, and those those brands are going to help you avoid you know account shutdowns and stuff like that so for example if we went and looked at a notorious IP complainer like Kong where if you try to sell Kong products you are going to get in trouble it'll show up this little pop-up box make sure you see that it is um, IP you know IP alert you're going to get in trouble if you try to sell this one it's also got it there um, embedded on uh, the Amazon page so using IP alert is just a nice little safeguard against your account um, you can also get a lifetime license for IP alert which I really like um, again coupons for all this stuff is going to be down below um, and I would recommend getting IP alert like I said after you get a couple thousand in sales just just to help uh, you know after you've proven the concept you've made a little bunny, a little bit of money um, you want to start investing in the future of your business with tools like this so you don't get shut down right off the bat because an IP complaint is a lot more detrimental right as you're if you're a brand new seller um, versus if you've got a bunch of sales under your belt um, it's it's just a lot more significant if you're if you've only sold a couple hundred items or even just tens of items and all you're already you've got an IP complaint uh, your account health is probably going to be looking a little bit bad uh, so investing in something like this is, is a pretty good way to uh, just kind of safeguard your account um, another tool that I love to use um, I've been using this one recently uh, is called seller amp um, this one is uh, honestly incredible value for what you get um, it's 17 bucks a month for the basic plan uh, and then the only reason you would need an upgrade I think is if you need like team if you have VAs and stuff like that um, but right off the bat you can see that it's got a sales estimator in it um, it's got a it's got a max cost estimator uh, which is nice um, you can you can set this this box to be based on whatever uh, ROI preferences you have so I have mine just at the default 25% probably need to bump that up to 35% but it makes it super handy when you're looking at an item uh, so we're looking at an item like this and we can just glance down here and probably presume that we might not be able to buy six of these for 10 bucks maybe we can, uh, but it's just a nice little way to um, to kind of check on whether or not you'd be able to actually find this one profitable profitably um, see if it's even worth your time of trying to track it down for that price because uh, for example uh, maybe you go to a super high volume like Nike shoe or something like that selling for 50 bucks it says you would need to find it for like 20 bucks there's no way you're gonna find brand new Nike shoes for 20 bucks online uh, so you would know to pass um, you can also go ahead and plug in the the sale price here. Um, this one also has a profit calculator on here as well. Um, I've, I've just been using this as old habit. I should probably get into the habit of using this one since I have it. But this is a free version, uh, just a free calculator. So I wanted to show that one off for you, you true beginners and people trying to save some money there. Um, so you could plug in your sale price and then your cost price. So let's say we're buying this for 15 bucks. We would know that it's probably not a great buy. It shows us our ROI. It shows us our profit. Um, so that's pretty nice. Uh, we've also got a bunch of historical data to check out here. Uh, uh, you know average sales ranks over the last 90 days 180 all that um, this is pretty useful data here um, there's just tons and tons of data on this um, there's hazmat there's dangerous goods there's like it's it's got a uh, thing to track and whether it might be a private label product um, that'll help you avoid those IP complaints further um, it shows you meltables um, so it, it does similar uh, things to ASIN gadget but it's you know it's a monthly subscription um, so uh, and and ASIN gadgets nice to just kind of have a glance at um, um, so you can see like a lot of these these tools have some some crossover and functionality so if you're trying to stay lean uh, maybe just invest in a tool like this um, or you know avoid the monthly subscription and check one of these out whatever it's up to your uh, you know it's whatever works best for your business I'm just showing off what I use to see if you want to maybe maybe post some ideas for how I'm, I'm running things with my Chrome extensions um, so here we've got like a nice little Chrome or a uh, keepa graph embedded obviously I'm gonna be using the the full keepa graph down here but it's always nice to have um, and then you you can do uh, you can export the the leads that you're finding to sheets. I use that for my VAs pretty often. Um, you and then this is probably my favorite feature of the tool right now. Um, so it's going to show you everyone on the listing. Um, you can scroll down as you go, and it'll take like a cumulative total of who's actually on that listing, how many units they have in stock. Um, so let's say we want to sell this for twenty four twenty four forty four or twenty four twenty four. Sorry. 
Um, and so we would look at this and say, well, they only have to sell 14 and then we're going to be the lowest price. Um, so you might, you might want to hold out based on this data, right? Cause there's only 14 in the way. Whereas if somebody had a hundred, um, the cumulative total would be crazy and you'd know you'd just have to settle for 20 bucks. Um, but where the real magic comes with this is when you can click on one of these sellers on here. Um, and I guess this technically takes you off of Chrome extension, but I wanted to show off this feature because I've been using this one a lot. Um, so it's going to pull up their storefront where in the past, one of my favorite ways to source has been to just click on a storefront here, um, go to their storefront and just kind of eyeball what they're selling. See if you can find it for half price, um, right around half price or less. That's a good benchmark to know it might be profitable. Uh, but you can go over to seller amp and it's just a much more so in, over here all you've got is the pictures of the items you can mouse over it for the keep graph um, but over here on seller amp you can see the title uh, you can see the keep graph already embedded here um, and you can see who's on it how many sellers are on it um, if Amazon's on there it'll show it it will show up there looks like this person's really good at avoiding Amazon so none of these have Amazon on it to show off that feature but um, it's got that max cost thing again to help you just kind of eyeball these listings judge whether or not you might be able to find it for that price. It's got the uh, BSR, which is always nice. Um, but just being able to glance at these Keepa charts is super, super nice because uh, you're able to kind of see at a glance like products like this, where it's it's starting to, to lose some sales volume where, you know, it's still under a thousand in groceries. So it's selling really fast. Um, but you can look at like a, like a product like this, where typically it's been selling for 25 bucks. All of a sudden the price is a little inflated at 31 bucks. Um, that's just going to help you get through these leads a lot faster. Um, and this is what I've been using for this tool for a ton. Um, and let's say you find something that's interesting. Maybe you've got an HEB near you. Uh, you can go ahead and click this Google button and it'll just Google this. Um, and then you'll be able to pull it up to see where it is on those source prices. Um, an HEB item might've been a bad example here. We can go ahead and throw up a Google listing here. So it's going to show you, well, you can get it for 478. If you, can get, you can get it for five over here. Then you can also do that with the same way by clicking the Amazon listing. Um, so it's just a lot faster. Whereas if you're reverse sourcing this way, you have to copy the title and then paste it into Google like that. It's just, you know, it's just faster to, uh, to have those buttons there. Um, I really like Sailor Amp. Um, to use that Chrome extension for that method of sourcing. Um, reverse sourcing is one of my favorite ways to source and that speeds the process up immensely. The last Chrome extension that I used that I wanted to show off real quick is used more on the sourcing side. It's just the Rakuten Chrome extension. Um, a lot of you, I'm sure, are already using cashback services, maybe even using Rakuten. Um, but this is just going to embed on the source websites you're looking at. So, for example, I'm looking at Vitacost right now, um, and it's telling me that I can get 6% cashback. So, um, if I wanted to, you know, just go ahead and add something to my cart, um, then I would activate that 6% cashback and go ahead and get my 6% cashback from Rakuten. Um, you know, getting that cashback from Rakuten is a great way to to add some free profit to your business. I think I racked up right around three or four grand in cashback from Rakuten just last year. Um, so it's definitely worthwhile. Um, and just having it embed on the, your, you know, your source websites is a nice way to, to not forget it. Um, and it'll also apply uh, coupons when you're going to check out. And that's always a nice little bonus there. Um, but I wanted to show off that as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got massive value out of it for your business. If you did, please feel free to add some value to my business and hit that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate that. Feel free to drop any questions, comments, anything like that that you guys have down below. Always happy to answer you. Um, but I really appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time.